Hi, this is Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 950 posts, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, a nurse practitioner, we're the co-authors of The Survival Medicine Handbook, now in its 700-page third edition, and the designers of the board game Doom and Bloom Survival, a great way to get the whole family together for a fun game night. Today we'll discuss the most prescribed antibiotic, to humans at least, in the United States, azithromycin, also known as z and now in a new over-the-counter product from Thomas Labs known as Bird Zithro. Before I start, a short disclaimer. This video is for informational purposes only. It doesn't take the place of seeking medical advice from a qualified professional. Azithromycin is a member of the macrolide family, and besides bird zithro, can also be found as aquatic azithromycin. It's effective against various types of staph, strep, and other bacteria, and even some sexually transmitted diseases. Azithromycin works by preventing bacteria from producing proteins that help it grow and multiply. I prefer it to the related erythromycin powder, also known as fish mycin, as azithromycin is more often available in a capsule, thus more easily dosed. Also, azithromycin is more potent against certain bacteria than erythromycin. Other features include improved effectiveness as an oral agent, higher concentrations of the drug in tissues, and fewer side effects. The widespread popularity of this antibiotic is due to its slow elimination from the body, which allows for less total days required to take the medicine. In fact, many infections can be treated with three to five days of once or twice daily capsules. Erythromycin, on the other hand, requires two tablets about three to four times a day, and that can be for up to two weeks. Azithromycin can be used to treat various types of bronchitis, pneumonia, otitis media, ear infections, cellulitis, skin infections, some throat infections, sinusitis, tonsillitis, epidemic diseases like typhoid fever, sexually transmitted diseases like gonorrhea and chlamydia, whooping cough, which we're seeing more of now that less people are getting vaccinated, and even Lyme disease if it's used in the early stages. Azithromycin has taken 250 milligrams or 500 milligrams once daily for a relatively short course of treatment, usually five days. The first dose is often a double dose, twice as much as the remainder of the doses given. This is referred to as a loading dose, and the proper popular brand z uses this method of administration. Of course, for different illnesses, the dosing and length of treatment can vary. For acute bacterial sinusitis, for example, azithromycin may be taken once daily for three days only. If you're taking the 500 milligram dosage and have side effects, such as, for example, nausea and vomiting, dizziness, diarrhea, drop down to the lower dosage. Azithromycin is not known to cause problems in pregnant patients, but should only be used if clearly necessary. It's okay to give to people that have allergies to penicillin, but it's not okay for infants younger than six months. Common side effects include, as I mentioned, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, upset stomach, GI symptoms for the most part. It sometimes has an ill effect, however, on people with irregular heartbeats called arrhythmias or people who have liver or kidney disease. An allergy is also possible, as it is, of course, with almost any drug. Don't take it if you're allergic to anything in the erythromycin family of medications. Interestingly, the use of antacids composed of aluminum or magnesium, like Maalox, seems to slow down absorption of azithromycin and decreases the effect. To find out more about azithromycin and other antibiotics available without a prescription for your medical storage and survival settings, Check out a copy of The Physician's Desk Reference, an excellent book to have, even if it's a couple of years old, as well as our book, The Survival Medicine Handbook, available at Amazon or on our website at doomandbloom.net. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. If you have additional advice for us, please feel free to post it in the comments section below. This is Joe Alden, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, make an old man, me that is, very happy by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Dr. Bones Nurse Amy, following us on Twitter at Prepper Show, and joining our Facebook group pages at Doom and Bloom or Survival Medicine Dr. Bones Nurse Amy. And don't forget, Nurse Amy's entire line of medical kits are at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. 
fill those holes in your medical storage. Thanks again.